So Keith's all going according to plan. This week is, is the big number 100. Can you just put it into words, if you can even try to put it into words, what that would mean? Yeah, I'm trying not to think about it, um, but the lad's talking to Andy, if it does happen, he's just telling me it's it's not just another cap, you can't have a normal week because it's not a normal week. Um, and talking to Keen Healy and Johnny, you know, I know Keen Healy tried to, to drown it out and not and not speak about it and, and it caught up in before the game, all the emotions, so look, yeah, it's, it'd be a massive honour, I think, of just be a bit relieved because I've been stuck on 98 for a couple, nearly two years since the New Zealand tour and getting one against Italy and yeah, be a bit of relief um, to get there but yeah, extremely proud and I'm sure my family will be as well. And I said there was a little bit of a delay between 98 and these last couple. Were there times over the last 12 months or so where you thought you were probably just going to fall short of getting 100? Yeah, 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 especially with the talent coming through and and the way some of the lads are playing as well. Um, and I suppose my, my injury history last year. Um, but again, I just kept the head down and um, and grateful. I think of a great, great relationship with Andy and a great trust with Andy. And, you know, we'll always be honest with each other. And, um, you know, I, I, I genuinely probably have had my best pre-season since I've been a professional rugby player this year. Um, we've got everything spot on, you know, between all the training, uh, physios, uh, S&C coaches, so it's been really enjoyable. And finally then, the fact that the coaches and everyone have stuck by you and kept you in squads and given you the chances, what's that do confidence-wise? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great and, you know, I suppose there's that bit of pressure as well because you, you want to you wanna be repay them as well, but, you know, Andy's just big on you know, allowing us to be ourselves and not to, to blow things up too much or not to try and do anything special. Um, just just be yourself and if you are special, you're special. But yeah, it gives you, it gives you great confidence, um, especially as a, an old winger. Yeah. Keith, I'll bring you back all the way to starting out with Tom. And was this the dream to, to make it to 100 caps? Um, yeah, as, as young fellow, I think um, when you're looking back when I was younger, the lads getting 100 caps for, for South Africa, Australia, you're thinking, geez, if I played for Ireland, I, I'd love to do that. And yeah, it, it would go through your head when you're younger. But, you know, I suppose in the last last couple of years, I was, you know, I was genuinely thinking every time I stepped onto the field could be, could be, could be the last time. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's great if it, if it does happen at the weekend. As I said, it'll be extremely proud and it'd be a privilege to join the, a, a unique group. Do you have the best memory today at the minute? Um, I don't know. We've we've had many moments. Obviously, um, the last couple of years, it's it's hard to pick. It's hard to pick the best one for for different reasons. You know, different challenges. I'm I'm just I'm just really enjoying the journey. Really, um, the last couple of years where where this team has gone and where Munster have gone the last year, it's been. Um, it, it's been about time for us in Munster. It's been a massive relief as well. So um, just, just trying to enjoy the the journey in each day. No. Yes. Is there, I suppose, a better occasion for you if it does happen than home game and it being against the events in March, which is our regime? Yeah, it's, I suppose it's always nice to to get it at at, at a home match. You know, Keane Healy got one in in France. You know, where, where there was no spectators. Um, I know Johnny Sexton was similar. It wasn't wasn't a really a full house. Um, and then Connor was the last November got his, and that was pretty cool. Watched him run up Naviva um, in a home stadium with all his family and friends around. So, look, I think getting there, no matter what, is is great. But I think to do it in a home, your 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 home ground would be uh, pretty special, right? Uh, you mentioned there that we've got everything spot on so far in the build up to this World Cup. You probably been part of the build up to other World Cups. Is there is just a feeling you have that the things you can see that makes it such a difference between previous builds? Yeah, we're just we're just training non stop rugby. It's, it's all it's all conditioning through through rugby really, you know, which which sharpens you up mentally as well. 
you know, we're, we're performing our, our detail and our plays under serious fatigue. Um, we're, we're not just running for the sake of running to, to, be, to be fit. So, um, yeah, and then, like, you know, a lot of our, our movement, health and all that, you know, thankfully, tip wood, we haven't had too many injuries. And if we are getting injuries, they're not, they're not too long, they're only niggles. So I think it's a credit to the S&C staff, the physios and the coaches, I suppose, for... For, for for trusting in each other that this is this is the way we're we're gonna go. It's gonna be all through through rugby and no no strong men or anything like that.